everyone. In this video, we shall discuss question number 2 of exercise 2.2. Find the product by suitable rearrangement. So the word rearrangement means we need to arrange the given numbers in such a way that it becomes easy for us to multiply. Let's start with the first question. 2 multiplied by 1768 multiplied by 50. Now how do we multiply this so that it becomes easier for us? We know that if I multiply 2 by 50, that would give me 100, right? 50 times 2 gives me 100 because 5 2s are 10 and 100, right? So anything multiplied by say 10 or 100 or 1000, it's easy. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we'll just group these together. So 2 times 50 times 1768. So we have rearranged our numbers and this is 100 times 1768. So we'll multiply by 1. So it's 1768 and then put two zeros. So then it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay. So the answer is 1,76,800. Coming to the next question. 4 multiplied by 166 multiplied by 25. Now which two numbers should we multiply so that we get a 0? Uh, let's see. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 5 is 20. So I'm just multiplying the 1's digit to check whether I'm getting a 0 or not. Okay, so 4 times 5 is giving me 20. So I will group these two together as a pair and write 166. Now 25 times 4. 5 4 is a 20, 0 2, 4 2 is a 8, 10, 100. 100 times 166. So again, we'll multiply 166 by 1 and put two zeros. And the commas would be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So this is the answer for the second one. Moving on to the next one. 8 into 291 into 125. Now let's see which two numbers would give me 0 at the 1's place. 8 times 1 would be 8. 8 times 5 would be 40. Right? So I'll pair these together. 8 times 125 times 291. 125 times 8 is 40. 4, 16, 20, 0, 2, 1000. So I'll write 1000 times 291. Just multiply 1 with 291 and then put the zeros. 1, 2, 3 because there are 3 zeros. And to put the commas 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So this is the solution for C. Next question is 625 times 279 times 16. Okay, now which two digits would give me 0? 5 and 9 is 45. 5 and 6, 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, we always see the 1's digit, okay? So, 625 times 16 times 279. Now we need to multiply 625 by 16. Let's do the rough work here. 6 5 is 30. 16 is 12. 12 is 36 plus 1 37. Put a 0 here. This is 5 2 6. Add it up. 0, 10, 1, 7, 9, 10, 1. So we are getting 10,000. So 
right here 10,000 times 279. Now it's easy to multiply. Multiply 279 by 1. And how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So this is the answer for D. Okay, moving on to the next one. E, 285 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 60. Okay, so 5 times 5 gives me uh, 25, 5 times 0. So these two, if I pair these two, it would be easier. So let's do that. 285 times 5 into 60. We know that uh, 5 times 6 is 30. So 30 and one more 0. Now, 285 times 3 would be 15, 1, 2, 8. So that's 855 and then how many zeros? 1, 2, 2 zeros and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay, this is the answer for E. And the last one is 125 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 25 so we have four numbers here so let's see which would be easier to multiply uh, 5 and 8 if i do 5 times 8 is 40 and 0 and 5 would also give me 0 hmm. so i'll take 125 and 8 together and 40 and 25 together as a pair. Now 125 times 8 is 1000. That's 1000 times and 25 into 4 it's 100, 100 and then one more zero is here so 1000 right so one time one is one and how many zeros are there one two three four five six six zeros so one two three four five six and to put the commas one two three one two okay so this is the solution for f I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.